how to make an insurance policy on your float rigs, your slip float, for heavy duty saltwater fishing. Here's my slip float. I got the two beads right here, bead one on the bottom, bead two at the top. That's where this will knock into up here. It'll knock into your sliding adjustable slip knot. But you wanna make an insurance policy before you put your sinker on. Notice there's no lead on here at all. What I do, this is with braid, 30 pound black braid. I double the line, double it, right? Make a good size loop, take the double line and make a loop. So you got a loop and your double line. I take my Daiwa Soku knot tool here which has this little tiny hook at the very end right here. And what I do is you stick that in, you twist it around four or five times, then you protrude, oh, I got it. And it's on there. Then you protrude the little, little hook, grab it and pull it through and then make yourself a knot and you keep doing that you don't have to actually use the tool I'm just showing you that all right and you do it again and what you want to do is you want to make this knot big enough that the, the bead won't slip over and it's as simple as just doing this. You don't have to use that tool. You can go around, go like this, go like this, and you're just trying to build up that knot so it's big. And there it is, it's pretty big. Right, take your little tag here, cut it off, right? And now the bead won't pass over that knot and you've got a double knot or a double loop right here and that's when you go and you tie on your trout lead or torpedoes type sinker right you want to hold it all nice and tight slide it on and you're going to make this big enough that it can go around the reel or the rod butt because this is also how you're going to secure it. Take this and tie your, tie your knot. Cinch it down. As the bugs are eating me alive, cut the tag. There's your trout lead. Then your leader will go on right here. And now, as you can see, you've got your stopper knot coming down and hitting that double line loop. And the reason that's called an insurance policy is because down here at the business end, when you're float rig fishing, you got double line, double strength, double thickness. And this makes for a nice loop to separate that when you're transporting your float rigs, cut your leader off and slip this around your rod butt and tighten it up and it holds your float and everything down at the business end so you're not going down the river or wherever you're fishing with your floats flapping around at the tip of your rod. So that's a little tech tip. I call that the insurance policy. Because as a float rig fisherman, what we always want to do, no matter what, we want our float coming home with us. 
So you've got a double line and it serves as a, a way to store your float rig when not in use. Thanks for watching. This is Captain Day Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for all kinds of extra tips and tricks. All right, here's what I was talking about. Here's your float rig. You got your sinker. You got your float coming down on top of your knot that you just made. Then you separate your double line that you just made. Take this, slide it over the butt end of your rod. And there you go. That loop helps hold all this down here at the business end. So it's not flopping and flipping all over the place as you're running down the river. It works, believe me.